This is Fieldstone Complex in Herman. Um, it's on the Annis Road, uh, which is uh, between Route 2 and Route 222 in Levant. Uh, it's just uh, two buildings, fairly recently built. The units are approximately uh, two to three years old. Uh, it's pretty quiet out here, it's quite rural. Um, we're going to look at unit number 11, which is actually the end unit um, on the end of this building. So there's quite a, a bit of woods around. Um, this is a little grassy area here. We have a little bit of snow, it's December right now. But um, there's a house up there, but there's quite a bit of um, area here which, which is not inhabited. Um, the land parcel is a pretty good size. So this is the parking lot. They do the plowing here. So the only snow removal the tenant has to do is to shovel off their steps in their little walkway out in front of the building. Um, there's also a dumpster and mailboxes out there at the front of the property. And then there's a little lawn here. Um, this down here is a fire pond. Um, whenever you have a rural area with no um, water, sewer, um, if you have more than, um, I'm not sure how many, so many units, you do have to have a fire pond, and that's what this is right here. And then this is the back of the building, and right up there is a, um, a overflow parking lot. Um, so when you are going to be away and need to leave your car in the winter time, you would want to move down here. This is also a guest parking. Each unit has two parking spots, so if you have uh, somebody who's going to come and stay, they would need to park down here in the overflow lot. And this is the back of the buildings. Um, that down there is uh, building 1004. This is building 1008 right here. Um, they do have walkout basements. Uh, the door is under the deck. And then the decks are raised up. Uh, they do come out over the, this, uh, the end units um, have a front kitchen. So the decks come out over the living room area. So. Uh, the decks are shared by two units and there's a privacy partition in between each one. And then again, it's pretty rural. Two units here. Mostly professional retired people. Um, each unit is uh, limited to three people maximum. That's uh, three occupants uh, regardless of age. So the uh, current tenants here have bought a house and they're in the process of moving. They're still here for uh, another week, week and a half or so. So the end units do have a front kitchen. Um, the reason for that is there is a wall here as opposed to being uh, totally open for the entire first floor. Um, that is a load bearing wall. Um, so that's the reason for that. The end units also do have a half bath downstairs, which is a, a convenience. It's also a little bit more convenient to have a kitchen up front as opposed to in the back of the unit. Uh, it's a little bit easier to bring groceries in and so forth. Um, dishwasher right here. Um, a nice high-end dishwasher. The appliances are, are pretty nice. Lots of covered space and counter space. built-in microwave, five burner glass top stove. Here's the fridge. And it is kind of nice to have this wall here too because you could put something against it. 
Um, these people do have this little cupboard here. You could put shelves, um, things like that. Gives you a little bit of extra room. Um, these do have uh, wood laminate flooring. There's no carpet in these units anywhere except on the stairs. So I'll give you another view of the kitchen. A recessed lighting. And then over here off the front door, there's a coat closet. And then you go back into the living room, dining room combination. Some people would use this as a dining room. Some people would use it um, just as extra space. Uh, some people use it as an office area. Another nice feature of having an end unit is um, having windows. It gives you a lot more light. And this is the back door that goes out to the deck. And that door over there goes down to the basement. And then over here is the half bath. Basically just a, some people call it a powder room. ceramic tile flooring in here so and then off the uh, living room we have a, it's a cute little Santa here um, we have the deck a really good sized deck um, it is certainly big enough for a gas grill um, they have a good sized gas grill right here um, and then also room for table and chairs, patio set, and so forth. This um, is looking over the fire pond. You have uh, lots of woods and so forth. Good place for a bird feeder. And there's also an electrical outlet out here. And then the basement is a full basement. That's one of the nicer features of these units. A lot of people really, really um, appreciate having these because it's like having a storage unit. A lot of people are downsizing from houses and so forth. Um, these people like I said, I've actually bought a house and they have a lot of stuff. Um, the washer dryer hookup is down here as well. So uh, washer hookup there, um, dryer vent is up overhead over the foundation. Um, so that's right here. And then um, there is a huge amount of storage space here. Um, they have a, I believe that's an upright freezer right there. Um, there's just a ton of storage space. They have a pantry area here. There's your hot water heater. Your electric panel is here. And then this is the uh, door that walks out underneath the deck. So if you have bulky items, uh, some people uh, ski, uh, bicycle, kayak, uh, canoes, things like that. Um, it's a lot easier to get them in through this door into the basement um, as opposed to down over the stairs, the interior stairs. So um, again, you know, they have a lot of stuff here. Kind of might give you an idea of how much stuff you can get in here. Um, some people use the basements to work out because it stays nice and cool in the summertime. 
Um, it doesn't get super cold in the winter time either. It's today's a really cold day and it's not really too chilly down here. So again, a really nice feature of these units. Stairs not uh, too steep and uh, they're not too narrow. They're actually built quite nice so that you can get things um, in and out quite easily. So then on the second floor, um, you have two bedrooms and two more bathrooms, two full bathrooms. Um, the only place is carpeting is on the stairs and basically that's for sound control. At the top of the stairs, you have a linen closet. Have a few shelves, plenty of room for storage. Um, this is the second bedroom. Um, hi, and we have a tenant here visiting with a little puppy dog <laughs> who's a little sweetheart. Um, so this is a full-size bed. You can easily get a um, queen-size bed in here, no problem. Um, has a closet. Um, this closet actually um, goes all the way down to the end of the wall over here, so it's actually a very, very um, good-sized closet. Um, again, we have uh, laminate wood floors without, throughout, so um, there is no carpet anywhere except the stairs. Um, this is the guest bathroom. Um, again, there are two full bathrooms. Um, one is the guest bathroom or roommate bathroom, whatever you want to call it. Um, again, it's a full bath ceramic tile. And then this goes into the master bedroom. And this is the master bathroom, which is basically very similar to the other bathroom. It does have a nice vanity here. Yeah. And again, it's a part of the master bedroom, so you just close the door and you have your own private bathroom here. This is the master bedroom. Quite large. It's made to fit a king-size bedroom set, uh, so if you had a king-size bed, definitely hit, fit in here no problem, along with any other furniture that you might have. Also has a large uh, closet, so you have the two doors, and that's all one closet all along that wall. So in between the two doors, um, you have all closet space. So that's all one closet right there. So there's your uh, bedroom windows overlooking the parking lot. Okay, and here's a look at the stairway. And back of the kitchen, living room, dining room, and that concludes the video tour of 1008 Fieldstone, number 11, in Herman. If you have any questions, you can contact us at 207-974-6606 or at rentbangor.com.